everyone, and welcome to the Wine Review. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, bringing you tonight a Pinot Noir from California, 2015. So, fairly young. It is from the Loach Vineyards. It is their... I'm trying to figure out this camera still. De Loach Vineyards Pinot Noir Heritage Reserve 2015. It was Wine and Spirits 2012 Winery of the Year. 13.5% alcohol by volume. I don't know what that was. Um, again, about a twelve to fifteen dollar wine, so fairly inexpensive, definitely within price range. At De Loach Vineyards, we take pride in our trifold heritage. As a pioneering winery, a family company with deep bur. Bur, 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 Burgundian roots and stewards of the land that we leave for future generations. We strive to produce distinctive wines that spotlight unique terriers in a socially and environmentally responsible way. Practicing sustainability, vindiculture, and minimally intrusive winemaking. This Pinot Noir is a well-balanced wine with mouth-watering flavors of cherry and cranberry with a touch of spice, making this wine approachable and elegant. Here it is in a glass. Barely Fairly dark Pinot, actually, although I can see through it, so it's not entirely dark, but it is definitely very red in the glass, very ruby, um, but not as light as other Pinots I have tried, a little bit darker, but not so dark that it's like a cap or sometimes a Merlot. Definitely get some oak on this. Nice cherry, nice strawberry, cranberry, hints of like mild baking spice. Slight tur um slight touch of earth actually, just like a teeny bit on there actually. A little bit of maybe like hints of like maybe teeny hints of floral. But definitely a big nose. Like, I mean, you will definitely smell whatever you are familiar with. This nose is very distinct. It is full, it is powerful. So if there are any aromas that you are used to, you'll probably get it out of this. I want to say a little bit of pomegranate. Definitely some oak, maybe vanilla or maybe chocolate. Very, very just, wow. Powerful nose, powerful, powerful nose. Um, and when I say powerful, I mean I don't mean it's like, oof, but I mean it's 
there's definitely flavors there. This is a good nose, beautiful nose uh, on the palate. Wow, very smooth, very easy drinking wine. Very red berry, distinctive taste. Strawberry, Bing cherry, cranberry. Huge red berries all the way around. Very lush, very juicy. You get a slight bit of spice in the very back. Huge, huge oak bomb at the very front. Good finish, good lingering finish. Still tasting, don't have that long fruit forward taste on the mouth. Very nice. There's like, there's not very much jam, maybe just a slight bit of jam, but there's really not much jam. There's no tartness, just a fair, very easy, uh, Everyday drinking wine, you know, good value for your money. Um, I, I I would say though, it the taste is sort of gone now, so it's not as long as other wines. Although it's not exactly gone as soon as it hits your mouth, but. Um, there's maybe still a few lingering particles, uh, but overall it's not, like I said, it's maybe like a medium finish. It's not full blown as other wines I have tried, but it's not quick as soon as you drink it. So there are just those few particles left that you can taste. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of that oak in the back. So overall, I'm going to give this a four stars out of five. Again, here it is. D. Loach Vineyards. You can't really see the vineyards. Unless if I do. There we go. D. Loach Vineyards, Pinot Noir, Heritage Reserve. Be sure you get the Heritage Reserve. They make five or six different types of wines just for like a Pinot Noir. So they have five or six different types of Pinot Noirs. They have five or six different types of Caps. They have five or six different types of Merlots. So make sure you're looking for Heritage Reserve California. Um, other than that, there's really not much to say. I've already read it. I've told you the cost. I've told you the alcohol. And yeah. So I think, um, oh yeah, my my buddies are here today, so um, there you go. Um, and I got my petite sewer's glass. Uh, so yeah, um, until next time everyone, which might not be until Tuesday, which I, I said, I said in my last video, my next my next review would either be a Pinot Noir, I think I said it would be a Pinot Noir, so it would either be a Pinot Noir or a 2011 Chianti. So come Tuesday everyone, be on the lookout for 2011 Chianti. I'm really excited to try it. Um, so I promise you that, I promise you that everyone, that will be the next wine I review. So hold me to it if I don't review it. I'm going to review it. But until next time, cheers.